What's up, wide receiver nation? This is your coach, Billy McMullen, former Philadelphia Eagle, also University of Virginia All-American. We're here to give you the insight on how to become and be a better receiver on all levels, whether it's in the pros, high school, college, youth league. We're giving all the insights. Uh, played in the NFL for seven years, uh, played on a high level in college, and coaching many, many kids here in the RVA and around in the internationally so hey listen we're here to give you the great pointers today uh we're gonna do some review on the nike open one-on-ones wide receiver versus dbs and we're gonna show you exactly some good things that you should be doing some things you shouldn't be doing put this stuff in your back pocket use it on your seven on seven leads coming up use it in the summer in your one-on-one workouts and definitely use it next year when you're hitting training camp and when you're hitting the season, look, we all about getting scholarships. We all about contracts. We all about starting and dominating. So let's hop right into it. We're going to get it started here. So this is the Nike Open. Let's find a nice little play to talk about here. Okay. Let's take that back. All right. So pretty decent release here. Inside release. Nice little stab. Let's go back and look at it. One more time. All right. So right here, coming off the line of scrimmage, as you know, he was about two, maybe two yards inside the numbers. Two yards inside the numbers was his original stance. All right. Understanding that he has a route and this is one-on-one. -on -one. This is not a seven-on-seven. -seven, this is not a team drill. But you always want to be practicing the proper things no matter what drill you're in. Okay, so he had a, an alignment about about two yards inside the hash, uh, two yards inside the numbers. Now he's about uh, six yards from the numbers, six yards from the hash. It's not bad, but think about it in game time situation. It's definitely if you're on the single, side, single receiver side, uh, it's cool. But if you have a double receiver side, you may have taken a little bit too much space while you getting inside to make your break or getting inside to set your DB up. Uh, in the world of football, in the world of wide, playing wide receiver versus DBs, you always want to make sure that you hold your leverage, you hold your real estate. When you give up your real estate, which means it's about a four-yard window, they're going to be winning. They're going to be running angles while you're running as fast as you can, and they're going to cut that angle off. So let's, let's check it out. Good move at the top. Great move at the top. Good play. That's an excellent play. Let's take it back one more time. All right, here's that original alignment right there. See? And I was actually wrong. He lined up on the numbers. All right? And ended up here. Now, if the route calls for that, that's good. It is a corner route. So if you're on a single receiver side, that's pretty good. But check this out. Look how both of the, the, the uh, DB and the receiver are square here. That's the name of the game. Who can stay in their position longer? Who can they, The d defensive back wants to stay in his position longer. He wants to be square all the way down the field. If he can stay square on you all, down, all the way down the field, he wins. Our job is to attack technique, to attack and then react to what he's doing, what he does. Attack, react, attack, react. So our job is to attack that technique, which was an inside technique. He did a pretty good job of this here. With that big body right here, he needs to swipe and pull and get get up the field a little faster than what he does. You got to remember, you got a quarterback back there that has some beast coming off the edge to, 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 to attack him, to sack him, so we don't have a lot of time to work. Let's look at it. All right. So right here, we already won. We actually won. We got him off, we got him off his, uh, his stance. He opened up the gate for us. Now use that big body right here. And fight your way up now. Start fighting your way up now. All right. I like the shoulder lane right here. All right. The defensive back is helping us to get up the field. That's way to play with leverage. I like the shoulder lane. But remember, we started right here. Okay. And we ended up right here. Okay. Now, once again, everybody's playbook is a little different. It's a little different. But we want to make sure that we are fighting to hold our leverage, especially if you're a big body receiver. Okay. All right, so he, he's already won. He's already won. 
I would say a step and a half too late getting up the field because he could have dropped that shoulder, swept, and got up the field a lot quicker. But you know what? It's not bad. Look at this right here. We're going to get a PI. We're on top of him. We can do anything we want to do. And he did a pretty good job of setting them up, sticking them out, sticking them out, sticking them in, and getting high. It's corner route. Bam. We we man, look, we can do whatever we want. He's dead in the water. Unless he has a cover two uh two man, which we know he's not playing two man. So he's dead. We can do we can get a post, we can get a corner, we can even get back across on a dig. Man, look. He's he's our he's our he's our little our little girl right now. We can do whatever we want to with him. Excellent stick. Look at that body language right there. Look at that shoulder lane. That's an excellent stick. I like that. Now listen, high school players, college players, pro players. Look, don't go for the first down. Don't go for the thirty yard catch. Go for the touchdown. Take a high, skinny angle. To the back pylon. That back pylon right there. That's where you want to go. All right. I see a lot of young receivers want to take a hard angle here because they think of it as a corner route. Go ahead and get your money, man. Go ahead and score that touchdown. Take that high angle and don't cut them off. You already won. So just go ahead and score a touchdown now. Let's see it. That's a decent angle. That's a decent. I think he could take a little higher, but bad quarterback. It should have already been on his hands. In real life, it should already have been on his hands, but he makes an excellent catch here. Way to go up first. Way to go up first. I like that. Way to go up first. Good concentration. Excellent. Nice. All right. Got a little hezzy. A little hezzy right here. Okay. Let's look at that alignment again. Let's all let's go back to the beginning of the alignment. All right. Let it, let's let it play. All right. So here's the deal. Look. I'm going to even rewind it one more time so y'all can see it. I'm going to catch it earlier. Once again, a good catch right here. Boom. Good catch. All right. Ooh, I love this. You got to know what type of DB you have. I love this. Okay, you have different type of de defensive backs. You have guys that want to be aggressive that we're going to see on this film here. You got guys that want to be, that sort of want to play soft and put a hand on you and run your route with you. You have guys that want to be stout at the line with a one-hand jam, two-hand jam. They want to be super, super aggressive. But this guy right here is obvious he wants to run your route for you. So you have to quickly study a DB. If you're on the sideline at some of these camps or if you're in practice or you're watching tape, quickly study the DB and know what you got. Make, a, make it a higher percentage chance that you know what he's going to do. With this guy right here, this defensive back right here, he's giving you everything you want in life he's backpedaling his hips are already opening up he's ready for you to take advantage of him off the jump we have about two yards we actually line up on the numbers okay there's no need for us to bow outside and get to the sideline man run through that weak shoulder you see his shoulder right here is weak run through that weak shoulder give him a jab but we shouldn't get any wider than a number uh a yard outside of number it looks like he's about to run a go route but he's giving you everything. He's backpedaling. He's not really square. He's sitting inside. There's no reason for us to bow out. Let's check it out. You see that? You see that? Let's see what he does. Good play. <laughs> hey. I guess he has some confidence in that uh in his ability. Let's take it back one more time. Boom. All right, so I was talking earlier about you, when we bow out like this, we bow out a, a good defensive back, he'll just take an angle to us. So you can be running a 4-2, he can run a 4-4 or 4-5, and he can still cover you. This game and routes are all about angles, all right? This is not bad by the receiver, but it's all about angles, all right? Take a better angle there. Uh, be aggressive. No, sort of anticipate. If he's sitting inside, he don't want you to go inside. So if you get outside, he's going to want to feel you. He's going to go put his hands on you. So get ready to swipe here coming up. Swipe that off. Give a little rip move. I like the shoulder, though. But see how he's angling to the sideline and he's pushing him to the sideline. The defensive back still winning because the wide receiver did not come off aggressive. He's chopping his feet. He didn't, he didn't do his homework on the sideline. 
he should be taking notes on every defensive back that come up. So when he goes up against him, he's ready to rock. Hey, don't get it twisted. This game is a smart man's game. You got to be taking notes constantly, taking notes constantly, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. This is a smart man's game. So look where he's heading. And look where he's heading. He's pushing, and he's pushing to the sideline. All right, look at that. Look at this distance right here. Listen, young receivers, it's not about how much space you can get from a defensive back, especially if you're a big body guy. Separation is different than what you think it is. It's not about getting away from the person and certain certain uh, drills. It's about stacking and creating leverage, all right? He should be stacking, taking away his ability to continue to squeeze him to the sideline. Like, this is not bad from the numbers. That's not bad. That's not bad. He should have been a more aggressive at the line, but that's not bad. Now, he needs to come back and stack, put his body on him, put his body on this defensive back, and then he'll have a chance to go up and get it. He's just real excited right now. Um, he's getting down the field, but you got to let you got to you got to put your body on this guy. That way we can do anything from that position. Hey, guess what? Wide outs. That's it. That's a heck of a play. That's a heck of a play. You, 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 that's a heck of a play. You can't you can't knock that. This is wide receiver nation, but that's a heck of a play. All right. Once again, let's go back. Once again, let's go back. All right. Bam. Here we go. Off and inside. Head up. He's not sitting inside all the way inside the numbers. The defensive back, y'all got to know this. We got the advantage because we know where we're going to go. But in terms of body mechanics, they have the, the advantage all the time because they're square. Well, at the, at the onset, they have the advantage because they're square. We're in, a, we're in a staggered stance, okay? I like the space right here. Man, we can do so much with this space right here. Like, know what you have. You can do so much with this space, okay? Just attack the space, attack the space. Like, it's, it's, it's points and times where you used to chop your feet and set your man up, but you got to know what you're doing. You got to know who you're going against, okay? See? Okay, now we both square. Look, we're both square, okay? But he's not even looking to put a hand on right now. Go ahead, attack his body. Make him make an early decision, okay? Attack him and then react to what he does. You're giving up a lot of space for no reason. This defensive back was ready to open up the windows of heaven for you. Excellent catch, though, baby. Excellent catch. Let's take it back one more time. All right. So look at this. Look at this right here. See, a, a lot of you young guys or receivers that have speed, that's cool. You should beat them with speed. But get used to taking angles. So when you take when you play somebody as fast as you, you can win on your angles, okay? Don't keep going inside here. Just tighten up, boom. Put a body on them. Look, you got a little physical out here. Put a body on them, run right past them. You're good. That's just that's pure speed. Now if this if this guy was just as fast as this guy, we have an issue. That's what we teach him. But you know, maybe this guy's a four one or four two, four three. Okay, maybe you know I can just beat him with speed. But start learning the techniques. Uh, you know, I was a four, 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 five guy, four, four guy, more four, five, and I had to use angles and use my big body. Learn what your body can do. Okay. He did stack him. Great track. That's a great track. Good, good. So listen up, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot of these uh, analysis on these videos. Um, once again, this is Billy McMullen, former Philadelphia Eagle. And University of Virginia All-American, wide receiver nation head coach, and we're here to get you better. Uh, definitely, if you have any questions, please uh, email me at wrnnation at gmail.com. Follow me also on my Instagram, Billy A. McMullen, uh, Billy.A.McMullen. Um, shoot me some questions, man. We're here to get you better. Peace.